I'm like, oh, I lost him. Because he really was looking like, where'd she go? Girl, I was... Girl, I was bobbing and weaving, hundy. Like, Lil' Kim be doing what she performing? Girl, I was bobbing and weaving. <laughs> partnership going on today guys <laughs> so for those of you that don't know what Teddy Blake is a New York based handbag company I've been sitting on this package for two days because I said I wanted to open it and give you a raw real reaction review how cute discover your Teddy Blake designer handbag oh my gosh I don't know my bag is in here I think I think I know which one is in here just by like the shape of it. I think it's gonna be the um, the python or like, I'm sorry, the crocodile print one that I that I was eyeing. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's gonna be, it is! <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm literally so excited because I've been wanting a bag from, from them for such a long time. Girl, the packaging is Gene, honey, this is not getting damaged in transit. Oh, the the size of this is, oh, this is definitely, it's giving everyday bag. It's giving everyday. It's a little smaller than what I thought it was going to be and I'm actually very happy about that because I don't wear big bags. Oh, shh. oh honey, this is giving shh, quiet luxury. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Hold on, this girl. Mm, I might have to change my outfit so I can wear this bag. And I think it has a strap to go in, so I wanna say these are buckles and you can open it a bit like that. So it comes with this right here. So this is what the inside looks like. So it has two flaps on the inside, a place for you to just put your belongings. I really want you guys to see the detail of, of this bag, really well crafted. And I love embossed, crocodile embossed bags. It's really cute. So I'm actually gonna change my outfit to go with the bag. He was slick. I saw him look at me and then he was like, hey, girl, I put these boots into sport mode and ran in here so bad. Y'all, he tried it, y'all. Y'all, that man tried it up in there. Let me move y'all. I'm walking around, you know, in a gala, in the Rhea. Bro, he kind of cute. I see a dude, a man, a grown man. Not that I'm not a grown woman. He looks old. He's give it's giving elder. It's giving yes, sir, no, sir, because you're an elder. That's what it was giving. No, no shade to the elders in the building. But it was giving that. So I'm like, ain't no way he checking me out. Ain't no way he checking me out. Maybe because I'm giving 70s today, I just triggered something from his, you know, young 20s or something. But 
I really was like, there's no way in heck that this man is really eyeing me in a seductive, sexual way. Ain't no way. I see Bath and Body Works. I'm like, okay, there it is. He stops. I was like, high, high alert. My spidey senses were tingling, babes. My spidey senses were tingling. And he goes, hey, to me, not loud, but I heard him. But best believe, baby, I was, because I act like I literally walked in to Bath and Body Works so fast thinking I escaped. No, girl. He comes into Bath and Body Works. I said, oh, oh so he bald, bald. Baby, he bold. He like bold italics, baby. I was like, okay, no, because now you're literally stalking me. Now you're literally stalking me. So I go into Bath and Body Works. Thank goodness there's a there's a lady in the front. Hi, welcome to Bath and Body Works. So she stopped and I'm like engaged. I'm locked into a conversation with her because now he just can't interrupt, right? So I'm like, you know what, brother? If you gonna try to holler at me, I'm going to make you do it in front of everybody. You can tell everybody. I'm going to make you do it in front of everybody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How bold are you, baby? How bold are you? Because we really finna see. So after her and I have our conversation, because he's literally behind the fixture waiting. Okay. Like I'm a, I'm a gazelle and he a dang lion, baby. Once her and I are done talking, I am like, I'm like just banking on the fact that he's a man and he's never been in Bath and Body Works. So as soon as we're done, girl, I start bobbing and weaving, honey, through the fixtures and I go into the other room. I'm like, oh, I lost him. Cause he really was looking like, where'd she go? Girl, I was, girl, I was bobbing and weaving, honey, like Lil Kim be doing what she performing. Girl, I was bobbing and weaving. So <laughs> he comes into the room. I'm like, Lord, please, please. I don't want this man. Like what, what do you want? What is that? What? The lady goes over to him. She's like, hi, sir. How can I help you? Not even asking him if he need help. She really was like, how can I help you? What is that you need today? I said, the Lord sends an angel in the, in the form of a Bath and Body Works employee. Um, So he was talking to him. She's like, what kind of candle are you looking for? Just really working for a raise, right? You know what? When he came in that room and she was talking to him and I kind of got a better glimpse at him. Why he look like Rich Dollars? He looked like a short version. He looked like Rich Dollars in the face, but Kevin Hart in a body. Like he was, you know, Kevin Hart in a body, but Rich Dollars in the face. So I was like, what is this? I really was just like, I can't. Like, I really can't right now. I, I was just so, like, he really looked like he was going to call me a tenderoni. Like, that's the age group it's giving. Like, hey, young, ten young tenderoni. Like, I'm just, I'm not trying to mac you right now. That's what it looked like his age group was, how he would be talking. I, I waited out, honey. I, it was a stakeout. It was a stakeout. I wasn't leaving until he was going to leave. Because, baby, he wasn't about to catch me slipping. No, I don't have time for it. Girl, I, I ran in there bad in the body works so fast, baby. I put these boots in the sport mode, girl. He didn't think I can do it, honey. It was, it was really giving motorsport. Because I... Put these things in a sport mode, honey. Oh, okay, Zara. Y'all really know how to make a boot because I really, I really hit, I really hit the gas in these boots. I'm done. Let me show y'all what I got. So I got the Kitchen Mandarin Gentle Foam hand hand soap. It smells so good. I love a good citrus smell, and I didn't realize that until I started working at Louis Vuitton because they have this fragrance called afternoon swim and it has mandarin and orange and um something else in it and it makes me thirsty i literally want to just like take a sip of like strawberry lemonade every single time i smell it but it smells so good but anyway and then i also got this eucalyptus mint for the bathroom Ooh, ooh, that smells really like clean, fresh. And I got eucalyptus because I say it's like, you know, a good stress reliever. Usually every time I'm in the bathroom, I'm doing my hair or something. And that's just so stressful, girl. Girl, that's stressful every time I got to do my hair. I got the sun drenched linen, sun drenched linen candle. And it smells so clean, so divine. It really smells good. And in this kind of velvet, you can see the other direction you can see that in this place. Oh, okay.
yesterday was a day <laughs> like it started off like good actually like no it didn't it just kind of seems like like everything was working against me in a way and i can't i have to go back and look at the film but i don't even know if i was really showing it on camera <laughs> i kind of feel like i'm entering like a pivotal point in my life right and i'm trying to do certain things make certain things happen my eyebrows look long girl i did them really long today let's shorten them up girl because why are they that long i'm trying to see how i want to do this because low key look how pretty that is it just makes me look kind of flushed oh it's so cute i love it especially on like really dewy skin and this is it girl maybe a little bit of mascara because like yesterday i was y'all almost lost me baby because ooh, it was a lot yesterday and then i had those heels on like i just had the wrong outfit on like walking around like it just hasn't been that hot and yesterday that just threw me for a loop i'm just gonna do one coat because it's not that serious okay maybe just a, a coat at the ends because it's a little serious that's gonna be summer makeup and just picture that with like a nice volume set for lashes and we're good somebody had asked me how i make my wigs last so long or how long do my wigs last or whatever i have a new braiding style the way i braided my hair because my diary of a man a black woman shamar wore braids was not cutting it girl they literally crumbled in like a week <laughs> they were not holding up so now what i do yes it's giving color purple okay it's giving sealy okay it's giving you and me will never part dolce gabbana or whatever they say girl anyway i part down the middle and then i plait it on the sides now and i'm no professional i'm still learning how to you know do my own hair so this is the new wig that i bought that y'all saw in the video and i'll probably wear this for like three weeks to a month down until it gets matted 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 until it starts dreadlocking baby until it turns into this now this is um what i call my play wig i have my work wig and this is my play wig okay or my good wig so once it gets to a point where it's just just literally like it's dreadlocking it's giving wheezy a baby i pretty much use it to throw on throw in a ponytail run errands work out and just do really whatever i need to do in it you know um because i throw a headband on anyway and i just um <laughs> You and me will never part, Dolce Gabbana. That's, I don't think that's words. Dolce Gabbana wasn't around. Okay, so I just comb it back like this. Cause sometimes I'll leave the bangs out. Like I'll let the bangs hang in front like this. And then I'll tie the rest up, but it's hot outside. And I know I'll be, it's, it's too hot. Like uh, I don't want it in my face today. So we're gonna push it back like this. Chet dig. That's what I look like. <laughs> like on a uh, giver. And did she's dick. He's dick. So where all this? Hey, I really it's giving surfer, dude. <laughs> it's giving surfer. But low key, if I were to slip my hair down, this might be a little look. I want it to be up. I kind of want it to be in a messy bun, low key. Let me see if I can put this in a messy bun. Ooh, girl. Um, <laughs> let's just, let's not. <laughs> let's not try that. Maybe I should do a bun because it's really giving, like, what's that decorative grass that people put in their house? That's what it's giving, girl. yeah okay yep and i just have it twisted like that in the front and i just literally leave it just like this and this is how i like really get my money's worth out of these wigs because 
sometimes like when I'm running errands, I don't want to throw on the wig and I don't want to just kind of go out like in a scarf or like just a hat. I can still throw this on like this. Let me tuck. I like to tuck the ends and then, and sometimes I'll just have the ponytail out, but since the hair is really giving like, what is that grass? It's like pomp something, some type of like pea grass. But, um, and if I wanted to lay down my edges, I could, but girl, it's, it's not that serious. I'm not feeling it. <clears throat> I'm not feeling it today. So, um, but yeah, girl, that's just, that's how I get, you know, the, an extra, honestly, couple months out of a wig if I want, if I really want to take it there, <laughs> if I really want to take it there, I can get a couple extra months out of a wig doing it like this, so. Just gonna throw this on. I wanted to be really breezy today, really easy with my outfit, nothing too fussy. Do I want to wear chains? Do I want to wear chains? Look how dark my face is and how light my body is. This is, this, I need to go, I need to sit outside and tan, girl. Because I am too different. <laughs> Baby, I'm light skin on my chest, honey. I'm red bone, yellow bone. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I kind of feel like it's cuter without, the, maybe this chain. It's cuter without this chain. This one's kind of thick and masculine. I want something dainty. I don't know. I feel like I might go to Bishop Arts District today. Because <laughs> I've been meaning to go. No earrings, yeah, no earrings. So what sunglasses are we thinking? These are, these are kind of big, kind of bulky. Mm, cute though, still cute. And then these are a little bit more, a little bit more chill, a little bit more dainty. I'm, I'm not feeling these, those are too little. And we have my cat eye ones. The cat eye ones are, oh, it's really sassy. Mm -mm -mm. It's, this, these are really sassy. I think I like these. Yeah, I like these. Honestly, I actually might pull down my baby hairs. So I just pulled out my baby hair in front because it was giving like receding hairline for a minute. Let me see. SOL. Fragrance and it smells so good. Mmm, it's like kind of sweet. So it has notes of salted caramel and that's probably what I smell. Salted caramel. Uh, pistachio, jasmine, and vanilla, which is also probably what I smell. But now that this says it, I can definitely smell the salted caramel. And I'm not gonna lie, my feet need to see some sun. Like my feet desperately need to see some sun. So for that reason, we're gonna wear sandals. I'm just gonna button this up like this. Okay, should I tuck one? This will look like a, a what you call it? Or should I button the lower one like this? I think I wanna wear this bag today. Actually, I don't think I do. Let me just be chill. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear my little Louie baby. Nothing crazy. Yeah, just my little, yeah. Nothing crazy, girl. Cowboy, which is a an all-natural plant-derived skincare formulated to heal and protect your skin. Y'all always know I'm down for some new skincare. So, oh, ingredients sourced from the desert to heal your thirsty skin. Um, so so is sourced for something dry? How is something dry gonna make my skin? I'm just kidding. Oh, look a little note. It says Jacqueline, we are so excited for you to try our Thirsty Cowboy Serum Trio. We hope you love it. 
Thank you for sharing our creations with the world, Christy. Thank you so much, Christy, for sending me this. Um, looks like the orange juice was already open. She probably busted open during transit. That's fine, she didn't spill. Ooh, it smells good. So this is a vitamin C serum and this is to brighten the skin and prevent damage from free radicals. So this is the Thirsty Cowboy Cucumber, Cucumberita Oil-Free Dewy Hydration Serum. Oh my gosh, I really needed a hydration serum actually. The cucumber, let's do a little smell test. Okay. Bedtime tea, which looks like this. Ooh, this is a retinol serum. I'm actually not gonna use this for whatever reason. Retinol and my skin does not go together. Um, I feel like retinol does the exact opposite for my skin that it's supposed to do. So retinol is great for like anti-aging, anti-wrinkles, stuff like that. I don't know why. I feel like when I use retinol, it makes my skin wrinkle so bad. Yeah, I'm excited to use the other two though. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I may try to give this a whirl, maybe because since they're natural derived, it might be a little better. But we'll see, Buki. I got one thing for the bathroom because I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing it. I'll probably do that in a little bit. I said all that to say I bought a shower caddy to install. So I'll do that in just a little bit. And then I also got and then I just bought two workout tops. Yeah, I have a lot of workout bottoms. Okay, this is cute. Everybody was saying like how short it was. I think it'll be fine because all of my pants and stuff are high-waisted in a blue as well. Even though I don't feel like this blue is like really complimenting to my skin. Especially when I have blonde hair. I think when I have black hair, it'll be fine. But when I have blonde hair, ooh, girl, it washes me out. It makes me look so sick. Now I'm gonna find something to eat because I just realized the only thing I've eaten today is a rice cake. And it's about to be five o'clock. I must have fall out. I don't know why I do this to myself. So you can see, and then I'm gonna get some lavender and hang it. Girl, it's gonna feel like a spa in here. I don't wanna spend a lot of money on the bathroom because I have no idea what my bathroom is gonna look like in my next apartment, in my next wherever I move to. So I really don't wanna spend a lot of money on my bathroom. But now let's organize this wall over here. And we still have to clean the sink because look at the sink, girl. It's a mess. So I was rocking my brain trying to figure out how I wanted to organize this over here because I was like, oh, should I buy new cubbies? Should I buy, like, what should I do? 
but um, honestly, I do not like the look of this, like how this looks in here. I don't know, I just don't like how it looks, but I don't wanna spend a lot of money on, like I don't wanna spend money on buying like bins for this. I, I don't know, I don't know what I wanna do. I might move my hair care into these drawers over here. Or should I move my makeup into these drawers over here? Actually, I may move all my makeup into these drawers on the sink and then all hair care would be behind me. So I had to stop filming because I needed to really focus on what was going on uh, like and what I wanted to do. So this is where we're at right now. So um, the first drawer, I'm going to order some acrylic bins and I'm gonna clean my brushes. They desperately need to be cleaned and put them in the acrylic bins up here with some other like beauty blenders and uh, like sponges and other tools and just keep that all up here. Then down here I have all of my foundation concealers, primer, um, everything for my eyes, eyeshadow, mascara, eyeliner, like things like that. Um, highlighters and things right here. Just some random like spoolies and extra sponges, eyelashes, um, setting powder right here. Then I have, what is this? This is blushes, um, contour, and oh, uh, foundation powder. Then I have lipsticks, and then I have lip liner, and then just some, some setting spray. So I'm really happy with how that looks, and that's all done. So now I just have to figure out what I wanna do with my hair care and my skincare. I, I just don't know what I wanna do. So I think I actually am gonna order some more bins to put in here, because I think like this is making me realize that I really do like black as an accent color in here. So I think I wanna try to get like some black bins or I saw some acrylic bins on Amazon that had bamboo tops. And I think I just want to spray paint the bamboo top like black or something like that and put everything, move it from the white bins to the acrylic bins with the black top there i was thinking about putting the skincare right here on like the little display the acrylic display steps but i'm not quite sure yet i don't know i think for right now i'm just gonna put all this neatly back up here and kind of come back to it but i know for sure i wanted to move my makeup in here because i got tired of running back and forth because <laughs> i do my makeup in the bathroom now so this is what i came up with as far as like reorganizing i actually think this little area right here is cute like with the brushes and the mirror and the mannequin head. I still just hate the look of the white bins. I just, I don't know, like I feel like when I'm recording and just doing things in the mirror right here, that it just doesn't look cute or is it just me? I don't know. But I feel like if I get acrylic bins, it still won't look right because then I'll see everything inside the acrylic bins. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep the white bins because I would rather not spend any money and not be crazy about how it looks over spending money and still not being 100% happy. So I don't know, um, I'm just gonna leave it where it's at. It's been an extremely long day. Oh my gosh, and I still have to clean the counter technically. Let me just finish this out and that'll just be the end of this vlog because girl, I am tired, I am whipped. And my head is hurting for some reason, girl. Probably because I've been wearing this hat, I don't know. I'm gonna clean and then call it night. I'm tired, I'm so tired. Mm -hmm.